Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about the top 5 clients that you can use to enhance your Krunker experience. If you're a Krunker player, then you know how important it is to have a smooth and efficient game to get the best game experience. These clients not only provide you with additional features, but also give you a crazy amount of FPS. Now before we dive into the video, let me explain what a client is. It's a third party application that you can install on your computer to improve your game. You can think of them as a tool that helps you optimize your Krunker game and just your Krunker experience. In this video, we will be discussing some of the best clients you can use for Krunker. I've made some videos about this topic before, so make sure to check them out after watching this video. The clients I'm gonna go over today are Tate Client, Sex Client, Client++ V2, Aimer Client and Sheaf Software. Each client has its own unique features that can make your game more enjoyable and exciting. So sit back, relax, grab a snack and uh, yeah, get ready to learn about some clients, baby. Alright, the first client is Sex Client. To be honest, I don't really know if I'm allowed to say sex on YouTube because uh, I don't know, but believe me, sex client is a very good client. So uh, let's start it up, let's try it out. Okay, we're in sex client and let's see what customization options and settings they have. Okay, here we have basic client settings. Uncap FPS, show more accurate ping. Yes, yes, yes. If you don't really know what it is, you can just read the text under it. That's pretty handy if you ask me. I'm gonna enable all of the flags. Interface, hide all ads, yes sir. Show exit button, yeah. Show alt manager button, yeah. Show menu timer, yes sir. Matchmaking plus plus is a very cool feature. If you for example only want to play FFA, you can just click, uh, you can just type FFA right here and uh, yeah, now you will only join FFA lobbies. If you're a Twitch streamer, here you have all of these options as well. Keystrokes, I'm not gonna turn that on. Client CSS. Okay, the client has custom CSS built into it. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this on. And uh, yeah, enable user scripts. Oh, that's cool. You can uh, put in user scripts. That's, that's very cool and handy. Let's have a look at the stretched CSS. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's just stretched. <laughs> okay, we are in a game and I'm getting around 500 FPS. That's pretty damn good if you ask me. I don't know if I like the stretched uh, CSS look. Fuck. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck was that shit? Bro, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Okay, GG's. The next client is state client. And uh, I'm really fucking curious to see this. First, I'll go over the settings and after that, I'll take a look on the CSS. Okay, in general, um, those three options, I would just turn it on, this just gives you more FPS, so uh, just turn it on, free FPS, why not? Keystrokes, okay, that's turned on, and uh, if you have a Twitch, you can uh, link it right here. A very basic client, very easy client, so uh, if you're into that, if you're looking for that, uh, I would go for Tate client. Uh, let's go over the CSS because I'm very curious. Um, okay, we have the default CSS and uh, we have the Tate CSS. It actually looks clean though. <laughs> it says Andrew Tate, so that's pretty funny. What's that? What's this? One minute, 37 seconds later. This is to see how much you move your mouse or what is, I don't know. The keystrokes are pretty nice. I actually like the keystrokes to be honest. I would love to see more customization options in it though. It would be cool if I could change the color to a yellowish color to, for example. Or maybe disable this little mouse thing. Look, I'm entertained baby. 
Okay, the third client is Client++ v2. The developer of the client doesn't really play Crooked anymore, so it isn't that actively supported. A cool thing about this client is that it is completely written in C++ instead of JavaScript. This client is also based on a different browser engine that seems to work better for some people. Okay, let's see what this client has to offer. A limited FPS, full screen mode, sky color, shadow play mode, developer mode, blur fix, raw input. That, this is very cool. Um, and my FPS is pretty damn high. The client runs very smooth and I'm getting high FPS. It's a very simplistic client, easy to use, easy to understand. And I would think it's just a very, very good client. If you're really desperate for some clients and you really don't know which one to choose, I think this would be a very safe option. The next client is Aimer Client. Okay, let's see what the settings have to offer. VSync, Game Capture, Discord, RPC, Custom CSS, Custom Username, Twitch and Loading Screen Image. Wait, Custom Username? Hey yo! <laughs> Alright, this is this is cool. Oh yeah, I really like this this option to have a custom username. A little downside to this client is that it doesn't support a limited FPS. So as you can see my FPS are stuck at 144 frames. Now it isn't that noticeable, I wouldn't even notice if I'm playing on this client or for example another client where I have 1000 FPS. But for example if I'm editing my... <laughs> I record all of my videos at 240 FPS. That's because I usually get more than 240 FPS in Krunker. Then I export my video in 60 FPS to get that smooth motion blur. Now the problem with not having a limited FPS, for me at least, is I'm recording at 240 FPS, but my game is only running at 144 FPS. So that means that you probably don't have that smooth motion blur that you would have on other clients. Okay, the last client is Chief Software. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong. Okay, full screen mode, uncap FPS, angle background, color profile. I'm gonna keep those two on default because I don't really know what it is, but I'll just keep it on default. Account manager, seek new lobby, custom C. Oh, this is pretty cool. So, if you, for example, want to do a challenge on uh, Sky Temple, you can just put a map ID right here and you will only join maps that are in Sky Temple. Discord RPC, yes, yes, yes. Windows. Oh, this is pretty cool. If I'm doing, for example, Benito Client. Now you can see right here, Benito Client. Uh, you can also change the profile picture. Uh, and I really like this feature. It's, it's, it's cool as fuck. Let's try those settings out. And uh, I think I'm using my old settings, like from a couple of months ago. Um, I don't know why the fuck I have those settings enabled. I don't even play with them anymore. But hey, I'm not gonna change them because I'm too lazy. I feel like I have a lot of lag in this client. It doesn't feel very smooth. Nah, it doesn't feel smooth at all to be honest. It feels very, very laggy. I don't know, I don't really like the clients that much. <laughs> it just... I don't know, I don't have that smooth experience, but it is a possibility that it's just only on me and that you won't experience the same thing. I've made a tier list for this video. I'm gonna be completely honest and if I'm saying something that you don't agree on, let me know in the comments down below what it is. So. You know, we can have a discussion or just talk about it. I'm gonna put Amor Client on shit. I'm very sorry, but uh, the only cool thing is that I can change my name. Next up, um, we have the Tate Client. I'm gonna put Tate Client on decent. 
The next client is Chief Client. The problem with Chief Client is that I experienced some lag and some stuttering here and there. The options were pretty cool and uh, the client overall is pretty cool. But the only problem for me is that my game wasn't running so smooth. So I'm gonna put it on bruh. I mean it's good but it's... Nah, I'm bruh is the, is the perfect thing. Client++ plus plus. Client++ plus plus is an amazing client. I almost wanna put it on good or perfect or just the best if however you wanna name it here. But I think it just has a lack of options and customization things. And that's why I'm gonna put it on AO and not on good. The client has a lot of potential but then again the owner isn't that active anymore and that's all good because the client is still alright. Okay last but not least sex client. I'm not gonna lie I'm just gonna put it here. It's a good fucking client. So that was it guys. I hope you loved the video and liked it. And I hoped I helped you out a little bit. Make sure to watch my previous video about clients because that's my fucking fame. That's, that's my most popular video on this channel. Like, whoa. It's almost at 10k views. It's, in it's insane, bro. <laughs> so if you're looking for just more clients to use in Krunker, make sure to check this video out. And uh, yeah, I see you in the next video, baby.